Hey, good morning everyone. It is a chilly Southern California day. You can see the weather here. Um, a lot of questions have been coming in, especially with our own congregation about fasting. So I just want to leave you a, a brief message on this. Uh, now that the chips ahoy are gone and the chips are gone in your home and all the bad food is gone and the ice cream is gone and we realize uh oh, I've weighed, I've increased my weight. What's going on? A couple things I want to just encourage you out of sight, out of mind. So, yes, your pantry refrigerator needs to look like the Daniel Fast during this season. Just give away some of the things. Um, but I, I, I encourage healthy food when you give away certain things. But anyway, um, so get rid of the junk and start focusing on the good stuff. Fill your pantry with the good things, the refrigerator with the good things. Uh, there's some negative things out there about hoarding, and I'm, I'm not for hoarding, uh, but I also, you know, think we need to be prepared from time to time. You know, if you have a generator, uh, great, good for you. If your pantry's full, and here's the difference. Hoarding is me, 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 me. I don't care about other people. I'm going to trample on them in the Costco line. Preparing is okay, well, you know, and, and I thought of this, I want to have enough in case I need to give it to others. Uh, we want the pantry at the church full in case there's really some people who need it. Um, you know, we want to be prepared. It's just wisdom. So if you just don't want anything in your pantry or refrigerator, good for you. Maybe God has you in that spot, but I wouldn't chide others. So here's the thought on fasting. God does not look at perfection. It's it, it, those who say, I can't fast right now, to be honest with you. Water fasting, water fasting right now for me is very difficult because um, attitudes come up and when you've got, you know, kids at home and spouse at home and, you know, you need to be, you need to be in a good mood, you know, uh, but if God calls you to water fast, do it. So my thought is this for our church family, for those listening, hopefully you can still hear it's getting windy. Um, that I would encourage you to maybe miss a meal or two intermittent fast and when you feel that hunger take it to God in prayer cry out to God and, and get rid of the junk you don't run to the sugar and the sweets and the caffeine and the ice cream and the alcohol and you name it just just get rid of that stuff and begin to just have things you know if, if your kids open the refrigerator and all they see is cucumbers cut up with tomatoes and a little bit of salt and carrots and and some almond milk that they can make a healthy protein shake and a big salad and maybe some clean meat that's what they're going to eat. Uh, and I just saw some <clears throat> some headlines. I don't remember where it was, but people are replacing quinoa and kale with cookies and crackers. So here's the problem that we're going to come out of this more overweight and more out of shape. And our immune system is going to be taxed even more if we don't make some serious steps, take some serious steps immediately. Number one. Number two is when you're feeding the body junk it doesn't work correctly i can you know i'm just going to put in the description the free download of my book feasting and fasting and my diet book and my addiction book all free downloads at our church website so that can help a lot if you want more information but serotonin levels dopamine uh, all these things that make you feel better they they are directly reflect they are a direct reflection of what's going on often in your gut your microbiome um, and there's the big deal about probiotics which are great but don't forget about um the food that the probiotics feed on, which I believe, oh, the name escaped me right now. And I know some of you are going, prebiotics, prebiotics, or something like that. But probiotics are good. It's the bacteria, the good bacteria. But the food, the prebiotics, the good food that the bacteria feeds off is actually more important. You can't go to fast food place and then take a, a, a um, probiotic and say, oh, man, doing good things. No, it's, it's counterproductive. So here's the thought, three thoughts. Intermittent fasting, cut out some meals, get good food in the house, uh, eat when you're when you need to, not when you want to, and and seek God in it. Don't don't worry about perfection. I'm not doing this perfectly whatsoever. Most people attempt fasting. Do not. Pre God's not looking. Oh, you did you just snack on a carrot? Did you just grab that chip? Nope. Oh, okay. Everything you've done up to this point is null and void. Start over. He doesn't do that. He says, Hey, get back on track. Follow me. Give me your failures and just begin to seek me with all your heart. And often it's in that brokenness. Oh God, I messed up with you. I'm drawing back to you. And so again, let's not overestimate the power of fasting. I'm sorry, let's not underestimate the power of fasting and overestimate perfection. But I would encourage you, get everything out of your house that's bad, uh, out of the pantry, refrigerator that's causing harm in, in regard to disease and, and, and uh, illnesses. Type 2 diabetes is, is diet related. Let's not forget that. Depression often is diet related. Let's begin to make these changes and wean off of these things and begin to fast and seek God. And God will honor that. So hope that helps. And I kept it under five minutes. Praise God. Talk to you soon.